You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. But you also have right now where you have athletes who can make a, a big difference. Uh, Tavion Land, this is, he was a quarterback for Liberty University. Uh, Jerry Falwell, senior, created that university. His son now runs it. Uh, this is what Tavion posted today on social media. Go to my iPad, please. My short time spent with the athletic department and most professors at Liberty University was much appreciated as it helped me improve my skills, gain new experiences, and meet a diverse group of friends. Unfortunately, due to the racial insensitivity displayed by leadership at Liberty University, I have decided to enter my name into the transfer portal and no longer be a student athlete at Liberty University. I pray that I am able to be, to be provided with an opportunity at a new school that respects my culture and provides a comfortable environment. Bless it. Hashtag BLM Tavion. That is significant, Mustafa, because we see the players at Oklahoma State who have gone, who went after Mike Gundy. We're seeing what happened the football players at Iowa State, State, the black players at Iowa State, the strength and conditioning coach has been fired. We're seeing this at other places where you had down at the University of Alabama, uh, their gymnastics team. We're seeing this in other places. We are seeing these young athletes not afraid of losing scholarships, not afraid of head coaches. They are standing up to racism and bigotry, and this is huge. If more of them do that, if more of them leave these schools, if more of them tell these uh, Division I schools like Clemson, if you don't take these buildings down, named after these races like John Calhoun, we ain't coming, I'm telling you right now. Them white folks at Clemson and Alabama and Auburn and Texas A&M and all these universities, they are going to do what they say because they cannot have big-time football without black ball players. Exactly, exactly. And that's how you change the system is by putting that leverage on them because um, they know that's going to affect the ticket sales and that's going to affect the overall revenue. Um, and it's big money, you know, for, for many of these colleges and universities. And, you know, it's good to see the work of, you know, all these incredible folks from our past, Muhammad Ali, uh, from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, from, from our brother Jim, you know, all that work that they did years and years ago. You know, now we've got all these young brothers and sisters who are standing up and say, if you're not going to respect our people, you don't have to respect our culture, um, then, you know, we are willing to take it someplace else. Uh, let's talk about this here, folks. The Camden City School District in New Jersey will begin the process to rename Woodrow Wilson High School. Camden School Superintendent Katrina McCombs says the decision came in light of the protest and outrage after the death of George Floyd. Now, many in the community raised their concerns about the school being named after someone who was one of the most violent racists ever to serve in the White House. That is significant. What we saw over the weekend, we saw folks uh, bringing down various statues of Confederate leaders. You also see in New York the removal of a statue of a Theodore Roosevelt where he was flanked by an, an, an American Indian on one side and, a, and an African on the other side. Many people have talked about his colonialism. Uh, you also have, uh, that was a, a Ulysses Grant statue that came down. Now you got white conservatives, uh, Avis, who are complaining, saying, oh, you're going to start bringing down uh, these, uh, or you start bringing down Jefferson, bringing down Washington as well. Uh, oh, what's next? Uh, I'm going to find out. Matt Schlapp was like, oh, Jesus is next. And so, I, is, you know, is, is that going to be happening next? And I'm going, what, and uh, of course, uh, I saw Bakari Sellers. He, he said, nah, Jesus is fine. He said, because uh, he was a, uh, he said he was a refugee from Palestine. Y'all would have put him in cages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that that is so ridiculous. Uh, here, here's the here's the reality. Um, you know, symbols matter. Uh, they they display what a culture values. Um, it's always been amazing to me. I've never really understood. I've traveled in a lot of different countries, including Germany, and I've yet to see a nation on earth that has deities to traitors. I've yet to see that anywhere else on earth. 
nowhere but here. And so what these symbols uh, represent is not what these what their uh, what the, their proponents claim they represent. It's not about their heritage. It's about hate. It's about the disturbing, the very bloody, the very ugly history of America that for some reason they want to maintain because they want to maintain a sense of control um, and subjugation at the same time, right? And so these matter. Now, I I'm hoping that you know we continue to move forward in um, replacing these deities with those that deserve uh, lifting up. But at the same time, as we do this, uh, that we continue to push forward with other uh, sort of policy uh, advances that we need to make sure that while this is an important part that we need to focus on, it's certainly just one part that we need to focus on in order to create the broad scale systemic change that we need in order to create a more fair America. All right, folks, that's that my unfiltered video in just one moment. Uh, Mary Spiel, she's the founder of Seek, Seek.com. Uh, she is the inventor of these 360-degree 4D headphones. Unbelievable sound. Folks, you can use this for gaming. You can also, of course, with music, videos, you name it. Uh, and so what's great about this is that the sound actually, so when you're listening, it literally travels all around your head as opposed to a normal headphones. And so I, I really, really uh, do like these listening to music. Uh, like I say, they have a microphone that you can attach to it, but you can use this when you're playing video games. And so they have a partnership with them. So if you want to buy these headphones, you go to seek.com, but use this promo code RMVIP2020. RMVIP2020 to actually uh, join. Uh, so please take advantage of that.